13,500 some odd pounds, we've got ourselves a BEA beautiful Keystone Fusion 369er here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. If you'd like to see if we have this in stock, how we have the in stock model equipped, what we're asking, without the burden of those pesky hidden charges, all you have to do is visit the link in the video description and you get to see all that neat, cool stuff right on our website um, and you see exactly what we have, not maybe what we could have, because this may not be the exact one that we have in stock. This is the number one selling brand of fifth wheel toy hauler on the market. Chances are this thing's gonna go pretty quickly and we're gonna replace it. Chances are it'll be pretty similar to this, but not necessarily identical. That's why I like you guys to understand there's always that link down there. You're one click away from seeing exactly what we have, what we're asking, etc. All that necessary stuff aside. Oh my gosh, this thing is amazing! Um, I don't even know where to begin. So check this out. A completely like unobstructed patio space. And they've made it nuts with dual power awnings. So you have maximum potential patio space here. Under the awnings, they have these uh, like cargo loading floodlights so you can really light it up here at night. And notice that they're using a different step on your primary entry area here. Your little garage utility stuff, they're still using a nicer aluminum step. But look at this thing. You can literally jump on it. It is super sturdy solid. It's awesome. Now, without this, this whole floor plan literally would not be possible because if you had a wheel well or a step well right here, you could not have tires. You could not have your automatic hydraulic leveling upgrade that we've put on this. That step literally makes this entire floor plan possible. It's that new thought, new blood, new technology that I love about Keystone. They're always like pushing forward and, and uh, making things new and exciting. This is so smart. Right under your big double power patio awning, we've got this really cool little outside fridge. So when you are having your little tailgate party set up, there you go, you got a fridge built right in. And where it's located, it's under a chunk of the kitchen counter space, which normally you don't get good counter space on a toy hauler. This one has that. Um, but it's located where you, you couldn't really access that. So it's not a loss of space, it's just an increased benefit. And when you're done, put it away, nice slam latches, tucked away, you can lock that shut so your buddy can't get to your beer. <laughs> Big pass-through storage on these. Now you're seeing a couple boxes that is part of the 10th anniversary X edition because toy haulers have to have these really cool extreme sounding names. Anyway, you get a couple zero gravity um, folding chairs, a couple of little knickknacks, but they're really nice, useful stuff. When we're looking around here, something else you can see is the in command system. Let me, uh, I should have pulled the faceplate off earlier. Computer guy fail. All right, let's pull this off here. So first of all, it's nicely shielded, but secondly, it lets you see the heart, the brain, the soul of this thing. First of all, Keystone is basically the only towable manufacturer that color codes every single wire, and they're all accessible right here. Now, instead of cheap camper fuses, they use these heavy duty automotive type fuses, and you can get those things to swap them out, replace them just about anywhere. Now, what's cool is this communicates with the control panel inside a touch screen panel that'll let you basically control almost every square inch of this RV. Slides, automatic leveling, water heater, tank heaters, all that stuff is right there. And for ultra convenience, you can download a free app to put on your phone and manipulate those things right from your pocket. You can sit at your table inside, or you can, like if you wake up at night, you're in the master bedroom and you hear the awning banging around in the wind, you don't even have to get up, you don't have to get out of bed, you can put the awning in from bed. Now we've got wide body construction and I like that they put the auto leveling jacks on the outsides of the frame rails. That gives you superior stabilization. While we're up here, I wanna point out we've got our own in 5500 generator so that we can uh, enjoy our RV anywhere that we please. We don't have to be you know, strapped down to a park. And along with the more ride suspension system we have on the, the tires that give you vertical shock dampening, we've got a more ride pin box which provides both front to back and side to side shock dampening. The whole thing can kind of flex and wiggle around so that it's easy, simple, and convenient for you. You don't get a rough ride in your um, uh, vehicle, basically. This is not only a beautiful parked fifth wheel, it's a beautiful towed fifth wheel. Um, the uh, slide outs here, the, this is a big keystone thing. They do this all over the place. It starts with a, uh, it's, it's sort of like a hammered tin type skin. It's really heavy duty, it's not a plastic. Um, that pulls the slides in and out. 
so that we, uh, I'm getting messages over here. Guys ask me questions. Are you done yet? I, I guess someone wants to see this. I'll be done soon, guys. Um, you can't even see. There's another set of seals in there. And then there's an aluminum C-channel rain gutter inside of there that channels water away from the slide. So you just can't get penetration. Water that runs down the sides of the slides hits a little inversion lip on the bottom of this trim, which as far as I can see is Keystone exclusive. So the water doesn't wick into your subfloor. When we get down here, this is a good time to talk about the Fusion Blizzard package. It's another reason I like them here at Halet RV. They have a zero to 100 degree rated, proven, tested uh, temperature rating. Um, they have a large furnace, forced air heating, uh, uh, you know, ducted into the underbelly. They have dual attic vents so that you can get condensation dissipation from your um, ceiling um, insulation. A lot, of, a lot of brands will skip that. They have uh, uh, radiant foil, um, radiant thermal foil insulation in the underbelly, in the slide, in the roof, around the nose cap, above the pin box. That area above the pin box is an area that most brands fail to do anything in terms of insulation with. You know what's directly above that? Your head when you're sleeping. Fusion did it better. You know, there's a few other brands to do that. There's other good brands of coaches out there. Don't get me wrong. It's just that these are a literal true cut above. We've got that high gloss exterior, the luxury. I mean, well, first of all, this is a luxury fifth wheel. It just happens to be a toy hauler. Um, the uh, uh, frameless windows give you that sleek look and they're heavily tinted to give you privacy and keep the interior cooler. These tilt open on a rainy day. These slide open to give you maximum airflow no matter where you're at. Now, some people, People don't understand slides, and I need to do a whole video on that. The cable slide systems are often misunderstood. People say, oh, that looks kind of cheap. It might surprise you to learn, this is literally the most expensive slide system in the business. They, could, they wouldn't use the most expensive thing possible if it wasn't good. Just kind of consider that a little bit. Notice that we have dual fuel tanks, for one for generator, one for fuel station. They separate those so the one doesn't track and, or, uh, you know, dry out the other. Um, the ladder is permanently side mounted so that you don't have to worry about a place to store that. The roof is all kinds of heavy duty construction. You see that we've even got a rear awning. We've got three awnings. We've got three entry doors effectively. You've got stairs, uh, set of stairs one, two, three. You've got awning one, two, three. And notice that stairs number three actually come off on the camping side of the coach, not the rear of the coach. A lot of campsites are already having difficulty accommodating a toy hauler with the patio deck in the out position. This doesn't extend out further now. Not to mention the fact that isn't that organically where you want to go in and out of the coach? Doesn't that make more sense anyway? Um, We'll come back to this. Well, let's talk about it. This is the, um, the uh, it's a quick set patio system. Basically, this kind of telescopes and, and uh, disconnects itself in less than, what, two minutes if you've never done it. You can set this whole patio system up. It locks in place. It's just, a, it's a better way of doing it. It's another sort of exclusive thing that they have here. Kind of like, you know, those heavy duty Moride steps we already talked about. And I love this little utility and convenience center in the Fusions. This is something I see they have that I don't see mirrored in other areas. Like we carry a lot of different brands of stuff at Halet RV, toy haulers included. This is a pretty cool feature. So instead of wasting just empty skirt space, they opened it up. This could be a tool chest. It could be outdoor utility stuff. And if you're paying attention, you look in here close, you see it's got both um, residential and USB outlets up here. So this can be your power tool station to wrench on your toys, dirt bikes at a dirt track. It can be your phone charger. It can only, it can only do everything. Also, wider, bigger doors that are friction hinged so they don't slam around. You have to really, ugh, barely got that sucker closed. There you go. And notice it didn't hammer shut. Moving upstairs, and isn't this so convenient, simple, easy, and welcoming? You come up here. Now, we're standing on this door. Most toy haulers with a patio deck, they're rated at 3,000 pounds in the load position, and then due to torque reasons, they're only rated for 1,500 in the deck position. Well, if I skip back down here real quick, again, Fusion did it different. It's another thing that I like about them here at Halet. It's an area where they, where they went above and beyond. If you feel like it, if there's four big adults or whatever out here, you can drop down these little um, stabilization feet on the end of the door and regain a 3,000 pound deck rating. And my friends, 
Good luck finding that elsewhere in the industry. That's a pretty exclusive feature. They also use uh, my preferred style of um, uh, retractable screen door. I like this kind because it has several different lock points, so you don't have to fully open it or close it. Now you see that yellow rip cord? That connects to this door frame, which the best way I can describe it, it's like a hatchback on, on a car, except it, it folds from the bottom up instead of from the top down. So here's what it is. Over here, there's a little keyhole. It turns an eighth, and then it's a power unlock system. The door unlocks itself, and the, the whole door, it's called a zero-G door, you actually have to pull it down a little bit because it doesn't fall. It actually recoils. This is a flip-it-and-forget-it closable door. But that only works if you have power hooked up, even a battery. What if you don't have power? That's where this guy comes in. You pull this, and it's a mechanical release. Basically, if you're like stuck in the trunk of a car, that's that emergency release cable to get you out. You can just push the door down from inside and it won't slam down because it won't even go all the way down without assistance. Instead of a door that crushes you, it's a door that literally doesn't crush you. Um, we've got the one of the, the heavy dutiest uh, constructed floors in the toy hauler business in here. Their 5K interlock floor system in this is absolutely nuts. So not only do they have large beams running uh, uh, longitudinally? They also have waffle-style construction that runs laterally as well. Long story short, think of it like waffle fries under here. Easy visual for you. <laughs> waffle fries sound good. Anyway, um, these are all then welded directly to all that crisscross lattice reinforced construction. You've got adjustable tie-down points here. Every single tie-down has a 5,000 pound load rating so that your toys go nowhere. You can flip this whole floor literally upside down. The toys don't buckle. Power sofa uh, and uh, overhead bed system, which is not uncommon. So I just left the bed up. And the reason I did that is because this has the best living area experience of any toy hauler of which I've ever seen. And understand at Halet RV, we carry at least a half dozen different brands of uh, fifth wheel toy hauler. This, this is a cut above back here for living space. So it starts off with large, expansive, nice, bright viewing windows. You don't feel like you're in a garage. You're not in a box. Windows and lights are super expensive in this business. They spend a ton of money there. So now we can turn our benches into theater seats if we're so inclined. Of course, they can also just roll over into a double bed. So you can have like a king bed, king bed-ish. I don't know the exact dimensions on it, but you get the idea. But, and it's cool that they put the TV in here. But Fusion goes beyond. Remember that? Watch this. When you're ready to watch, it comes right down to you. Now, if you're sitting on this bench over here, it tilts and angles over to you. Or if you're sitting over here, obviously you can tilt the other way, so that when you're sitting down, you're on Boardwalk and Park Place, and you're still looking out at the dunes, at the campsite, at the woods, at, at what your experience is. How awesome is that? We do have washer dryer hookups here if you are going to do that seasonal permanent type living thing. Um, if you're not going to use it for that, that's an awesome outlet for like a chest freezer in here. If you're going to have something long-term storage, this is an amazing area for that. Um, I just, I also really, and look at this, when you're done with it, whoop, out, out of the way it goes. One hand, done. And it locks in place, it stays there in transit, no problem. Uh, nice little corner storage here too. They could have left this blank, you wouldn't have thought twice about it, but they didn't. And they even fully framed it, they went all the way there. Where do you keep the loft ladder in your toy hauler? You have to waste storage space. You have to find a spot for it. That's because you don't have a Fusion. See this? This is the coolest place to keep that. You could also use it as like fishing pole storage. Um, I haven't checked the dimensions. You might be able to get something like a, potentially a firearm up there if you're a hunting enthusiast. That could work for you. And a big, easy entry pass-through door here. Um, oh shoot, what is the garage dimension on this? I want to say 11 feet, but I need to double check. I do apologize. I failed to remember the garage dimensions on the 369 here. Um, just a second. Hey, Scott, can you do me a favor? Look up a 369 Fusion and tell me the garage length, please. Thank you. There you go. We're going to get this figured out for you. Um, so we pass through in here. We come inside. And first of all, it's just, it's got a beautiful look and feel to it. But here's what's really cool. Remember that little command center I told you about. You don't even have to do the passcode thing. Like, if you have guests, like Gary comes over, you're like, hey, Gary, turn the lights on, and he's like, what? 
He doesn't have to have the passcode. Everything is just one touch activated. Ta-da! All the lights, accents, everything, bang, kick on. Now you can control them individually, or you can just do it all in one shot like this. Look, now, toy hauler kitchens, it's like, haha, <laughs> yeah, right, toy haulers don't have kitchens. Look at this! This is a better kitchen than I've seen in almost any fifth wheel, except the ones that are specifically built around the concept of a big kitchen. Um, we've got, let me close this here. So we've got um, hidden hinge cabinets. Uh, we've got a uh, convection microwave setup going on here, just like your house. Uh, we've got big um, handle poles that we can get a hold of on here. Um, solid surface countertops for all sorts of ridiculous prep space. I love the little corner right here they left for like a shoe caddy. And these things, look, look at this. Let me see if I can do this without getting myself killed. You can literally stand on these stools. I mean, they are, if you look at them, steel reinforced. They're not going anywhere. And you've actually got room there for your knees. That could be a shoe garage. It is awesome. Again, doesn't exist elsewhere. This this is the thing. Um, I, I'm really pumped about having these here at Halet RV. It's not that there aren't other awesome fifth wheel toy haulers out there. It's just that these guys do so many things different and unique and fun and cool. They just, it, they're just cool. Like 18 cubic foot gas electric refrigerator. There is a residential only option, but it's still 18 cubic feet. So we like to leave the gas option in here so that if you lose power, it will kick over to gas and you won't lose all your stakes or whatever. Um, over here, oh, there's Scott. Yes, sir. 369 Fusion has an 11 foot garage. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome. There's big Scott. Scott's actually one of our fifth wheel and toy hauler specialists. So if you, uh, you guys have a question, you can see right there. Ask him a question, he gets you an answer on the spot. Clear, simple, easy. Um, the uh, living area in this too, not only does it have a killer kitchen, but TV. It can swing out for easy viewing. Doesn't matter if you're in the kitchen area. Doesn't matter if you're in the living room. This thing, it, it swings out further. I've just only got one hand, and that's a big screen, so I don't want to try to torque on it. Your Jensen stereo system here. That can come with its... You can download a separate app from your main house system. You can control stereo, like awning, leveling gear, slides, everything from your phone from the couch. How cool is this? And a larger 5300 BTU electric space heating fireplace. That's bigger, better, badder than you normally get. Plus, you've got cool LED visuals. Now, over here, this little um, party couch, you've seen a lot of toy haulers, they did something better here. And I had to explain to one of our salesmen that Thomas Payne is not the uh, artist known as T-Payne. They, uh, I, I, don't, I don't think that they quite understood that. Uh, anyway, huge windows with maximum height slides to give you a big visual here. End seats are heated and massaging. You will need uh, 110 for that, full power or generator, whatever. But all three sections, even this middle love seat section, they're individual, like theater style recliners, and they are wall huggers, so they don't dig up the wall. How smart is that? Everything in this is smart. Um, the loft overhead, if you don't need that for uh, sleeping, perfect storage space. It's, I mean, this floor plan only does everything. And over here at the kitchen, it's easy to miss it. You actually have, uh, you know, acceptable drawer space. You've got wastebasket space included. Recessed everything here for easy access. That's a real backsplash, not a stupid piece of wallpaper. And we have a really, like, artsy, modern-looking pull-out sink faucet system here. Stainless undermounted sink. Everything in this is a luxury cut above. Uh, that's your central back hookup down there, by the way. Let's move upstairs to bed and bath. Oh, and if you are cooking up a storm, you need to exhaust heat or you just want airflow, you have a wall controller for that um, uh, right over here next to your tank heater locations. Fresh gray and black tank heaters. Bang! Done. And I also like this handy little hallway light that we got right here. I think I'm losing battery power, so I better pick up the pace. Even here in the bathroom, we still have solid surface counters, and that allowed them to recess a stone cast nicer sink that adult hands can fit into. And by the way, you can pour 500 degree boiling water in that, not that you're ever going to, without damaging it. Seamless, self-reinforced shower with a handy little seating area in here. You can literally, as a grown adult, jump up and down in that without damaging it. Um, looking around, let me turn on a little bit of light. I can get, yeah, batteries are dying. Anyway, over here, we've got um, a, a great linen storage space. And you know one of the things that I always struggle with in RVs is where do you put your clothes from yesterday? Well, again, good team of Fusion, they thought of that. They built in their own little laundry hamper situation here. How cool is all of this? Moving on. 
All right, so master bedroom. This has their glide-a-bed system. That's their cute little word for it. What that means is this is a true king bed that you can walk around because when this extra deep, extra big storage slide-out slides in, it will actually push the bed over against the wall. When you open the slide, you just scoot the mattress back over, and ta-da, you're camping. Now, they left you, like, I like this too. This is where you can hook up, like, satellite systems and brains and whatnot to feed the coach. You've got um, hidden hinge cabinets that are self-supported with these overhead struts so that it's just simple and easy, and you don't lose any storage. That overhead shelf up there is good for phones or knickknacks, but you do have side stands for CPAPs and fans and alarms. You have your perfectly angled... Uh, bedroom TV right up here. Right when you lay down, it's facing at you with bonus, like, you know, towel, dresser, closet, storage space below. Speaking of dresser space, we've got two, three, four big drawers in here, plus all of this juicy, delicious cabinet or uh, closet wardrobe hanging space in here. Plus, you have a bonus shelf down there at the bottom of it you can use for storage. Also, Additional, like, it could be, well, I guess I'm on the wrong side of the door, bathroom linen space over here that you can't see because it's dark, but good news is we have the technology to activate a flashlight and let you see around in here. Check that out. They didn't waste anything, even bonus drawer space below. Wow. And the, the crazy thing is this two-slide fifth-wheel toy hauler I think has a better layout and more equipment and, and better design than most triple slides. It's, it's everything. It's everything. So, if everything's what you're looking for, and easy is the way you want it, welcome to Halo RV, where we don't do hidden charges, and we only do everything. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everybody.